get any of that conversation that was happening with the lieutenant? No? No, I can't hear you. He's coming down and talking to me. Oh, word. Somewhere I'm at. But he said, uh, he said in the petition, which we have the, the cover letter for, mm -hmm. we took a picture of it, um, he said the, uh, the petition is supposed to have these guys in and out of here in like two minutes. Oh, so there's a time cap like, on each? Yeah, like within a two minute period. Mm -hmm. So I thought that was pretty interesting. Though. So are you bored out of your socks yet or what? <laughs> yeah, when there's nothing going on, I figured I'd take a break and just hey, chill. Did, uh, Ian ever out here? did you figure out who was walking down the road? Because they're coming on this side now. I thought they were on the other side. Really. No, they don't have a radio. I can't reach whoever that is. It's either Nikki or Eric. Now, you're free keen, right? No. Well, I'm a blogger at Free Keen, yeah, so okay. I guess that makes me Free, free Keen. Free Stater, I, yeah, I'm try, just trying to get all the pieces together, because I got yours, and you, you were quick to tell me that you're not Free Keen and Free Stater. Yeah, were... I'm originally from Concord, so I'm not really a Free Stater, but I do blog at Free Keen. My okay. name's Garrett. But yeah, I moved to Keen about a year ago, because I enjoy very much the, the antics that are going on there. Antics. This is That's the, a good way to put it. This is the lieutenant. He's the one I've been conversing with. He's the one who's uh, nice enough and courteous enough to show us the petition. Cool. Yeah, I think Keen's a place where like there's a lot of political theater, and you know I take part in that. Of course, I do Robin Hooding there. Who's five miles away? Repeat. And uh, yeah, I think it's like a great place for just like expression of different ideas, like the different people that have gathered there. Yeah, there's that too. I should spend more time there. I haven't really been Roger there. Roger that. Yeah, uh, Eric didn't leave, did he? Oh, you're getting eaten over here, bro. There's a lot of gnats. I haven't seen much mosquitoes and stuff. Oh, the mosquitoes were out earlier. I, I wasn't getting touched over there. I come over here, they're attacking me. You, are you saying it's Garrett that's bringing them? Garrett. <laughs> Shame on you. Things flying around, but nothing's really attacking. So it. I guess uh, procedurally, um, you guys need a three lane, three lanes to do this, huh? I need to make sure that I have everyone safe, both the motoring public and the so officers involved. In so it. that's basically why you picked a three lane at this spot, because the other spots. Are safety is definitely one of the reasons. Absolutely, absolutely. Is it 55 here, through 30, here? 35. Oh, that, and that's probably another reason why you picked it. Because you probably don't want to pull one of a 55 mile right? It just changes. <laughs> Cha it changes how we have to set up sign packages. Definitely need to lit up signs ahead of time for that. We have, you know, if, it's, if it's a faster speed zone, we just we follow the DOT guidelines. On so I know you don't want to give your opinion on it, but do you believe that uh, DUI checkpoints are a violation of the Fourth Amendment? You answered your own question. <laughs> so who exactly uh, uses the authority to like set these up? I know a judge has to sign off on them, but who's in charge? the petition, yes, yes sir, it does. Who's in charge of deciding like we're going to have a, a checkpoint at this place this week? Uh, who's the petitioner? I am the petitioner, so you will see my signature on the petition. So you're the one who requested it. Yes. Now, does city council and any of the towns actually request for you to do that? We have had cities and towns that have asked. So did, in this case, did Walpole ask you to do a petition to do a DUI checkpoint? Is the traffic through here? You will get all of that in the petition, so I will. I'll give you some reading time. You can read the petition. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Fair. Did you just turn with, those? With top? an eleven month old and a four month on the way, you'll have <laughs> you'll have a lot of early morning hours, but you'll have plenty of reading time. Garrett, hopefully you don't know those answers yet. <laughs> yeah. He probably has old. five kids running around by now. The girls love this guy. None that I know of, fortunately. Is there a reason why this guy's got his top lights on? Were they on before, Garrett? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh. 
It's to help him with his camera so he gets a better gets shot the, and gets more light into it, yes? Yeah, yeah. The fog well, it kind of anonymizes it, so like people are getting pulled over, they have the light behind them, they see mostly silhouettes. Look, America's got talent in all those silhouette people they have going on. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've seen that. So you guys are getting more traffic coming out of Keene through here than the other side. It seems that way now. There's I would think, more yeah. It's busier than southbound. More people from the, the country would ever go into Keene, have fun, come back at night. There's a massive amount of calls in Keene right now. See, right. you should be there where something's going on, not here. For the amount of people. Bats and mosquitoes. For the amount of people that were here, two of us probably should have stayed in the town. You missed it all. They but, were hopping at the But college. I definitely, I, I wanted to jump at the opportunity because I never did a DUI. Um, in this area before. Yeah, this is my first time at a checkpoint as well. But de definitely you on Labor Day. You guys didn't do the Keene ones that we've done? We, I haven't been on a Keene We one missed yet. one last year. There was one on Main Street in Keene and we totally dropped the ball. Didn't hear yeah, anything. how did you miss that? We didn't see anybody. I was like, <laughs> the year before you were all right there at the Rotary with your signs and we saw nothing last year. We were all surprised. This is Centurion from uh, Coppola Keene, Coppola.org. Uh, they still haven't uh, arrested or did any uh, field sobriety test as of yet. I've seen one arrest. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I think I signed off on the video. Was that before we got here? Um, it was shortly after I arrived. In fact, I think this car sitting right here, someone was arrested that was driving it. It looked like an inventory was done on it. I'm so glad I got her last night. That was great. So the liquor, liquor commission was Did she at wait? the college? No, they They're were going around the bars. bars. Mm -hmm. She was wearing a flak vest too. She was wearing Kevlar. <laughs> I don't know why. She needs a Kevlar vest in a bar. I thought that was... So who are all those people standing in the grass? Are those no. with you, Garrett, or are those... If I can make out who they were, I might know. I, I'm seeing like five people, four people. I see, yeah, I see at least three. I don't know, maybe somebody will call up on the radio. I'm sorry, maybe, maybe somebody will call up on the radio. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to meet you there safe, too. Yeah, thanks, LT, I appreciate it. That's a New York term. LT? LT. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> In the tour, too. You're doing a tour. Yeah, Ian, uh, I did get permission from the, the store at Sitco. You're allowed to park there at the DUI checkpoint itself if you need to. Yeah, what's going on? 